Hi all, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about like my Freshworks interview experience. Uh, it's also two years back. So uh, back then, right? I think uh, uh, from India, from India, uh, uh, Freshworks is the first company. I guess uh, it's listing in the Nasdaq. Uh, there's a lot of budgets going on, and people who are working uh, in the uh, Freshworks are going to become a billionaires who are holding a shares of the Freshworks so there is a lot of craze going on Freshworks and also I have read a lot of blogs Freshworks the Indian CEO is very humble and a lot of good work they are doing inside the Freshworks so I um, and also luckily well uh, during uh, during my job trials right so from Insta hire uh, recruiter directly reached out to me uh, job opportunity Freshworks so so the company has that kind of craze in that in that time right who will say no so i said yeah i am happy to have the interview so then I interview so first round is basically uh OA round once that OA round is completed uh, next he said like uh, once you are qualified with OA round then uh, complete all the rounds till your selection will be the same day i said okay so he straight away shared that uh, OA round uh, questions uh, OA round link uh, hacker at the link i think hacker at the hacker rank so both are almost similar right so i got that link so it's also uh, three questions i'm able to solve two questions well and third question half solved uh, it's also difficulties like a lead code level only like medium questions only not hard um, but back then i'm not very thorough with all the concepts but i'm not able to solve the third question uh, i'm only on the brute force approach that's why only half test half test skills are passed so and uh, after that one uh, i got a call from recruiter like uh, you are done with you are gone through the oa round so the next is like basically he said about uh, scheduling the rest of the three rounds so one technical and one managerial and one one senior managerial round i guess so so all the technical round but uh, it's more of like managerial senior managerial kind of thing so first round is like purely technical round the interview in, Actually, in every round, right? I think first round, two people joined, and second round only one pe one is the interviewer, and third round also two people are interviewers. So, so first is like basically like us only. Uh, he the two interviewers joined. One is like one person is two years experience, one person is like uh, three and a half or four years experience. So uh, I guess they have asked me first 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 question itself a dynamic programming question. So I don't know. I I didn't practice this dynamic programming question. I'm not into DSA, right? So uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking what how to approach. Uh, but yeah, I'm able to solve the solution. Like it's basically uh, steps. There are steps are there. One, two, three steps. So you need to go to that step. Uh, find a minimum possible uh, way to reach from uh, uh, ground to top step. Uh, Either you can jump two times or you can jump one time. So that is the question I got. I think I still remember the question because I solved on fly. Like I didn't practice. So with the help of uh, first I solved without any DP programming, but uh, they have asked me to optimize that one. So then I think about like uh, storing that. Uh, it's a, it's looking like it's a kind of Fibonacci. Uh, it's a kind of Fibonacci. Right? Last two values are important. So. And then I solve with array. Then I think I solve with without array in a constant space, I guess. Then they are happy. Then the second question they asked me uh, to implement a uh, power power uh, power of a number like two power n or uh, I think I think power of a given number, I guess. So they have given me two two uh, parameter two arguments x and n. So they want to implement x power n. So we have math dot power of uh, power right so function. So the intention is like without using that uh, power uh, function, he asked me to implement. So then I think of how to uh, uh, implement. So then I come up with this recursive approach. I don't even know, but I I, I just trying like uh, how to implement. Uh, um, so I'm able to solve at certain extent, not able to solve because uh, uh, this. Uh, because I have stuck that like uh, during uh, minus during negative uh, powers I have stuck how to implement but during positives I tried it I think I, tr I try to handle so it went well two questions are okay I think they are happy with uh, 
with uh, those two questions at least approach i'm going into that's why they have gone through the next round i think interviewed called me and uh, you are done with the uh, first technical round let's go to the second technical round so in this in the second technical round uh, the first question is very easy like uh, he asked me about two two sum right so uh, like the, in an array so there are like a, uh, in an array they have given a target so you need to find a two values uh, uh, two array values which equals to this particular target so for, uh, so either we can do sorting uh, and we can do two pointers uh, i and j if it is greater than uh, target with decrement uh, uh, j if it is less than increment i until unless you find the two pointers or i have given an approach of hash map I get, hash map um, so i'm storing the values in hash map so instead of checking the target i'm checking the second value space is so let's say i'm storing a values in hash map right so for, uh, first time i'm storing in hash map while storing in hash map i'm checking if the value is contained in hash map or not if the value is contained in hash map and i'm i'm checking uh, whether uh, sum equals to uh, like target basically let's say there are like 2 3 5 and target is like uh, uh, let's say uh, 2 3 5 and tar target is uh, let's say let's say 2 4 5 and target is 6 so we have like 2 plus 4 equals to 6 right we need to return these these two indexes so what i did first time storing in hash map 2 i stored while storing itself i checking okay i got a i got now i got it 4 i'm checking uh, uh, 4 minus target is like uh, 4 minus 6 is 2 right if 2 is present in a hash map if, I, if it is there i'm returning that hash map index in a hash map i'm storing that value and comma index so i'm returning that current index and also uh, the index which are getting from hash map as an answer so we talk about time complexity he convinced uh, time complexity order of n uh, so contents will take order of one so then uh, he asked me the next question is like uh, um it's a more of uh design question not coding question uh, he asked me like what uh, what is my previous uh, project i worked on so i have explained this anomaly detection engine again um then uh, he gone very in depth so why you did this why not this why you did this why not this and how you will mitigate uh, uh how you will so let's say free lot of things got failed how you will solve so uh, i'm able to explain at some extent then uh, he asked me about uh, uh, lru cache like uh, did you know about cache policies i said yeah i know how cache replacement strategies then which is the most uh, recent most used one is like i said lru is the optimal one then he asked me about to implement the lru so I'll, i have implemented lru with the i have asked him to whether should i implement everything scratch with a linked list or should i use the already predefined uh, linked list and hash map and uh, and i implemented with that so he said like uh, implement with the using uh, uh, existing uh, uh, already java collections so i have implemented with that one uh, he he looks satisfied so and again uh, after the particular round is completed right interviewer uh, hr called me for final round so if this is the final round once you are gone through we can discuss about package so then uh, inter then the inter interview is very senior i think he's almost 18 years of experience into the, in the industry and this he it has two members and the other member also senior 12 plus is experience so i am able to Bit, little bit panic after seeing uh, that experienced folks in interview uh, so he first he talked about like almost talked about half an hour on, on my project only he talked about like uh, in a about the volume of data i am handling so in a fresh work he, uh, so i said around 100k per day and recently we scaled initially i said it's 10k recently we scaled to up to 500k then he laughed and said uh, uh, will handle millions of data daily uh, so your job role will align to the particular uh, data so you need to consistently monitor the data and uh, trigger the alert alerts so you may not be expert much development work but there is more of process work is there so that time 
I don't know the difference between any of things. I just only know the, I just only want the fresh works at least to get the stocks kind of thing. So I said, okay, okay, fine, fine. Uh, I, uh, so then he he might think I, I said wrong or something because that level of experience people, they might easily judge the people, right? So then he asked me about uh, how you will scale this particular system to the million, millions, to the billions, to the hundred billion. So how you will handle the failures? How you will do the retry mechanisms? I try to explain as much as knowledge as knowledge I have in that time. So and then he asked me about finally LRU only. Like I thought LRU already did in the previous one only. Thought again I can answer same thing. Then this is the tricky part. So he asked me, I don't want to want okay uh, by me. So LRU basically if you have a, let's say length is like around hundred right. So uh, if whatever list recently used are basically the tail we simply remove those things from the tail of list and we'll maintain and values will maintain a hash term and we'll return the values so he said like uh, I don't uh, okay and is fine but I don't want and uh, I, I just want based on time based on time time so let's say after one hour uh, uh, I just only want to have the data of like most three one hour data only like so after one hour, even though uh, let's say n is hundred, in a in a one hour, let's say only fifty entries are got. After one hour, depending on the uh, depending on that uh, when the record is getting entered, the data should be removed automatically. So along with that uh, constraint of n, I just want to add the constraint of uh, time also. So I just completely black out. So what to say? Uh, then I think about like different different approaches. Uh, okay. Uh, let's talk about like uh, how about uh, uh, maintaining a two different hash maps. One hash map will store the uh, time time, and uh, uh, and all the values will be inserted. Like uh, hash index is time, and values will be a linked list. Uh, likewise, so I'll store it one hour, one minute time span. So um, I'm basically current entry uh, minus. Uh, uh, basically it did some uh, uh, minus like and took the difference between the entry and uh, wherever uh, this particular entry will get uh, in one hour one minute or two minute uh, I'll store over there uh, so and uh, I'll, oft, I'll I'll do in a bad job like uh, after some time I'll basically check from that uh, particular uh, other hash map the time index time based hash map so I'll iterate each each one so wherever I found uh, uh, this time is exceeding uh, our one hour bracket rate, I'll remove this complete key and all the subsequent values will be removed. So uh, I told this initial person, I guess. Then I said, okay, uh, we can use tree map to store in a sorted or sorting time order. Then uh, uh, depending on the binary search, uh, uh, which falls, which is less than, we can remove the complete top from from that particular floor uh, key to top complete keys we can remove from a tree map uh, and whatever keys we are removing uh, the corresponding values will be removed in the, in the particular uh, our, our LRU hash map then he said okay if you are using batching uh, it might lead a uh, lot of inconsistencies uh, uh, how you will how you will effectively implement batching I said it depends on load uh, if load is uh, and depends on load and also depends on like a use case of uh, use case so I just want to, I'll, I'll make a either hourly batch or uh, so hourly batch or let's say every five minutes depending on the load, I said. Then he said like, uh, no, no, can you think about different approach? Um, then I thought of, exp I don't know anything, right? That is the max I can think of uh, the, at that time. So then I thought of seeing something like threading, but I don't know threading. If I say threading, uh, he might go in depth about threading and simply black out. So I said, okay, it might be some some thread can be used to continuously monitor instead of batching uh, some kind of poll push mechanism. Polling will continuously pull the data uh, from the from the uh, time based hash map. Uh, I said something like that. Still, he is not convinced. Uh, so you know, right? Whenever interview said, no, 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 think about better approach. No, 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 think about better approach. Then you will completely doomed. Like you don't know how to think about better approach. When whatever approach you are saying, if interview is satisfied, if interview is not satisfied, you cannot. If if interviews keep on asking you to think of a better approach, uh, it's very difficult to 
maintain the stress at that particular time. So at last I simply said, uh, okay, this is the max I can think of. Uh, I need to figure out uh, how, what are the other ways uh, of of uh, time based uh, time based LRU instead of like uh, size based LRU. So she think, oh no problem, it's completely fine. You get you you told at your capacity, so there is no rush kind of thing. So he said very happily, I thought, okay, okay, he, he might be a good person, I uh, might be selected. So uh, other panelist um, person also said, yeah, no problem, yeah, that's completely acceptable. So then I thought very happy, okay, I, I'm, I was getting offer finally. So, so finally, interview didn't call me, I understand, okay. Whatever the hiring manager person said, it's, it's, a, it's more of like a, a sugar-coated words. Then I, I directly called to the interviewer. He said like uh, um, all the wrong interviews are happy except the except the one person uh, who interviewed the last who interviewed the last round. Uh, he is not convincing to put it in your senior role uh, uh, in that job. I said okay fine yeah no problem. I said fine. Uh, I said and I cut the call. So yeah, this is about my very different and weird uh, Freshworks interview experience. Yeah, I learn. So every interview, right? I'm learning something like either it's good or bad, but I'm learning. So uh, result is not in our hand, but ultimately the only we can do is to try. So if we succeed, we become a stars overnight. If we have failed, we'll wait for the next like, next interview to crack. So this is about my fresh first interview experience. So soon I'll share other interview experience also Walmart. So then uh, there are like other interactions. I'll, I might share via video or I'll directly share in the LinkedIn post itself. Uh, you can follow me over there and uh, you can uh, get those uh, posts updated. So that's it about today's video. Like uh, we'll soon meet in the next videos. If you have any doubts, feel free to ping. Yeah.